So, um, and yeah, it just it just went on me. So I had no time to get back. So yeah, that's all right. Cheers, Louis. Thanks. Uh, maybe while you're just on that, Dave, how agonising. Sorry, it's a bit loud in here, mate. Um, just how agonising, I guess. Uh, I guess was it to get out on 99 uh, from a personal point of view, but also to, to kind of cap a, a collapse of three for three. Yeah, look, it doesn't really bother me um, out of 99. It bothers me that the fact that I got out when I did. Um, we're one partnership away. Uh, it was for me. It was actually obviously easier to play. I'd been out there for a long period of time, so. You know, I knew my areas, uh, back my strengths. Um, I worked my backside off to get into that position to to be there at the end. And obviously, one spun past the bat, and um, I probably looked, I probably hit, looked to hit two straight on that ball. But you know, my, my game plan was to hold my line, and that one there, I just got a little bit ahead of myself. But as I just said this before, um, the sniper got me in the back of the car. And just the um, the amount of spin that you faced tonight. You know, they pick four special spin bowlers. And the amount of turn the the um, you know the surface offered is that a sign of things to come for the test series that you're expecting, Dave? Oh, we're always expect, expecting um, turning wickets, and I think it's fantastic preparation for us. We we absolutely love the fact that they're playing on the wickets back to back. Um, that's what we want because we can't get that practice in the nets. The nets are green, so for us, it's great practice out in the middle there with these dust bowls, and um, it's going to be exciting come the test match uh, in Gaul because uh, we obviously know what we're going to get there. Scott Bailey. Thanks, Carl. Dave, obviously 2016, that they ran through your wickets that were pretty similar that spun a lot. I mean, are these wickets turning more than what you saw tonight than what they were five years ago over in Sri Lanka? Oh, the wicket in 2016 was diabolical. Um, I, you know, I think we were expecting these wickets, so it's not something that's unpredictable for us. So um, playing the second game on this, um, you know, we obviously knew it was going to turn a little bit. As I just alluded to before, that there was a lot of due last game, so that didn't um, that wasn't apparent tonight. So um, the wicket was a lot, obviously a lot drier, a lot powdery. Um, but as I said, it's great practice uh, for leading into the Test series, that's for sure. And mate, just wondering what obviously when two wickets fall at the other end, um, while, while you don't face the ball, do you think that sort of played into your dismissal somewhat? Maybe just a uh, loss of concentration or loss of momentum or something like that. No, not at all. It wasn't uh, any lapse of concentration. I played the way that I, I was playing. And as I said before, when I lunged forward, I couldn't get back just purely because I, I cramped. But for me, I, I should have probably just held my line um, as, I, as I did. The other end was actually the end that he was bowling from was actually turning a lot more than, than this end. So you know, it was just one of those ones that you know could be on the outside of the bat and you, you just got to accept that. And, mate, last one from me. Um... I think while you guys are out there, Mitch and, and Smudger in the nets um, with with the red ball, obviously all confident that they'll be right to go in a, in a week's time. Yeah, definitely. I think Smudger is more of a, a precaution in a seven-day sort of um, turnaround. So he'll be fine. Obviously, Mitch, Mitch with his finger, obviously, was an open wound. So that's healing, that's healing nicely. Um, and I'm pretty sure he'll be up. Thanks, mate. Louis. I didn't want to jump in front of Barat if he was still. Oh, uh, sorry. You go, mate. Uh, uh, thanks, Louis. Uh, hey, David. Uh, you just spoke about preparation for the test match. Now that you know what kind of pitches you'll get, uh, how important is it to find that balance between preparing for it but still playing the ball that you are facing? Yeah, look, obviously, in one day cricket, you've got to try and go after it a little bit. So it actually helps you um, be positive. So. You know, you, you can take that into the Test Match Series. You know, use your feet, get deep in the crease, come at them a little bit. Um, and we're seeing what they're going to deliver. So, you know, for example, Dan and Jaya bowls, um, you know, bowls a couple over top and then he puts one in and, and tries to get you cutting, which he got me out in that uh, other game. So it's things that we expect. Um, it happened in 2016, as mentioned before. Um, it's just that there's no um, Rengo Harath. So um, they've obviously got other spinners that are in their Test team. And as I said, it's, it's nothing that's going to be unexpected for us. Uh, so just on that, like, you know, is, is there a case where you don't overthink it? Like, you don't think too much about the ball's going to turn and you just focus on every ball, like, one at a time? Yeah, look, at the end of the day, it's like facing fast bowling. You can't protect both sides of the bat. So, you know, I think on these surfaces, especially when it comes to test match cricket, the one for a left-hander is the one that slides on. So if you cover the one that slides on and you hold your line, it's either spin past the bat or hopefully hits the middle of the bat. So 
they're little things. You just got to have soft hands, uh, and you got to have you got to be busy. You got to be moving forward. You got to be moving back. So they're the things that you know I was practicing out there tonight, and um, you know, hopefully it holds me in good stead um, going into the test series. Last one, folks, Louis. And, and just picking up on that, David, like all that stuff you're talking about. Well, you, you brought up 2016. Like, uh, are you a better player of spin now than, than you were then? Can you kind of reflect on, on that journey for you? Yeah, look, I think it's – this is extreme spin. You don't usually see these type of wickets. You only see them here. Um, India's completely different. They don't turn like like that. They're actually good wickets um, and they turn later, um, you know, day three, day four potentially. So for us, everyone has to prepare, um, you know, as well as they can. It's about being busy. I remember playing in Dhaka, and that was probably the, one of the worst because I've ever played on. Um, and I scored 100 there. So it's about committing. Um, it's about concentrating. Um, and it's about batting long periods of time. And, and unfortunately, in, in, these sub, in the subcontinent, one little um, mistake um, will cost you. You don't get that second chance. So you've got to be on all the time. It's going to be difficult, um, especially with the heat. But we're looking forward to it. Thanks, Louis, and thanks, David Warner, for joining us tonight. I'll be back uh, in a few minutes with uh, Mitchell Marsh. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.